Okay. What's up, guys? Probably wondering why I'm. Will you stop? Will you stop? Stop! Fuck it. Probably wondering why I'm uh, in this vehicle. Well, that's what I'm here to tell y'all. Joey? Little help. Thanks, bro. Ah. Well, guys, this is my video. Basically, the, the video I'm making to introduce the new truck. This is a 1998 GMC Yukon four-wheel drive. It's got a V8 engine, of course. Only thing about it is it's got 214,000 miles, but, but it was taken care of. Very well taken care of. As you can see, the body is in uh, fair condition. The hood is... Basically what the hood looks like is someone took a key or a knife and just cross hatched the shit out of it Same thing with the roof. The roof is horrible. But yeah, obviously as you can tell it's got its imperfections But let me uh, let me walk you around the vehicle. It's got leather interior. I don't know if it has heated seats. It might If it does it's a plus the interior is not the best It's got normal 20 year old 19 year old wear and tear for an old vehicle. You know, it's got a crack in the dash Whatever. It's only got two rows. Um, I don't know why I have a towel in there. Actually, I do. We're about to go to a swimming hole. Got a towel and jacket shit. But the bench in the back is in decent condition. This is something I really like about this truck. All right. This goes up, and then this drops down like a tailgate. Oh shit! I let that thing slam a little harder than I thought. <laughs> let me just talk about my plans. I guess I plan on putting a six-inch lift on it for my friends tell me to lean towards a three inch lift or a leveling kit or something. I said, why? They said, when you lift a vehicle, you run into more problems. I don't want to run into any more problems. It's already got a lot of miles as it is. And I don't know if I want to drop $4,000 on wheels, lifting tires. I don't know yet. I still have a few months to decide. Chrome's in decent condition. Obviously, this is going to have a few things, a few dents and dings that look like door dings because it's old, it's like 19 years old. Y'all probably don't know this, but uh, I'm a window tinter. I went ahead and tinted my windows. I did 50% nano on the back. I didn't do anything to this. This is privacy glass. You can't see these windows because I have them rolled down, but I did 20% ceramic on the front just so no one can see me. Let's keep walking around it, I guess. What I found very interesting about this truck is that the bumpers are in such good condition. I don't know if the previous owner had replaced them or not. I am pretty stoked on this trailer hitch because that would suck if I didn't have one. These running boards are planning on taking off as well as these. As you can see, it's got shit on the hood, some dents and blah, blah, blah. It's not perfect. It is 19 years old. You got to keep that in mind. When I'm done with it, it's going to be clean as fuck. Maybe throw a new exhaust on there. I don't know what exhaust, I haven't done research yet. You're probably wondering why I bought something so old. The main reason why is because why would I buy something new when I'm gonna break it? That's what I do, I break shit. If you have a brand new car and you don't break something, then you're not fucking using it. That's, that's, how, that's how I look at it. Holy shit! Did it slide? <laughs> I told Joey behind the camera to film it because I thought I was going to stick to it and fall off, but that shit is so slick. Watch me hit that shit again, bro. Come over here! I want you to stand right here, bro. I can't believe how slick that shit is! <laughs> That's fucking awesome, dude. I wouldn't just dent the shit out of that. Okay, where are my keys and my phone? Hold on, let's go find it. Damn it! I know I threw the phone in the beginning. You know, not many people want like to show you the imperfections of the inside of the, your vehicle, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Here's something really cool about this car. The cup holder still works. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight cup holders in this bitch, bro. You know how many girls you can have in here? <laughs> you know how many drinks I can hold for girls in here, dude? This is really cool. First thing I did when I got in this truck, like literally after I signed the check, got in the truck, my brother Ryan sat in that seat, I went like this, and the shit done fell off, bro. So now, I guess I just have to set that bitch on there, like that, and hope the light don't come on and my battery dies. And look at this. How many of you motherfuckers can change the direction of your light? Your lights ain't got nothing on my lights. I don't know what this is, honestly. Um... 
Look, bro, and I got three of these motherfucking ports, bro. I got three of them hoes. How many you got? And I got to place my sunglasses, bro. Put the Ray Banzies up there. Got them right back, bro. I got four wheel drive and shit. I don't know if it works. Should we test it out? I ain't gonna test nothing out. That's not country music. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, that shit got in my eyes. Got in my eyes. Oh! <laughs> How is that fun? Y'all didn't want to tell me I get dirt in my eyes every time I did that shit. They be holding secrets out here, bro. Why y'all be holding secrets? And that bitch wasn't even in four wheel drive. Really, bro? I don't even know if I got windshield wiper fluid. I really don't even want to, like, oh! I really don't even want to touch the Ray Ban lenses because I got dust all over them. You try to wipe it, you scratch it. Guess we're gonna go for a little ride. I mean, we can just. Why not? Oh shit, it's on mute. Yeah, dude, I, I thought, <laughs> I had the windows down, thought that she was gonna splash in. Alright, let's go meet up with whoever we're gonna meet up with. Oh, <laughs> shit. 